You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome back to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. So I have a question. What do you call a person who already spiritually ministers to people who are ill or suffering, but wants to do more? Wants to be able to safely feed them, to take their vital signs if they aren't feeling well, to help them to the bathroom, or even give them a bed bath to make them feel more comfortable? You call that person a CNA. Meet Bob Davidson, the chaplain at Brookhaven Hospice in Westboro, Massachusetts for the past seven years, and he recently turned to Mass Bay Community College's Certified Nursing Assistant CNA program to learn new and vital skills. Bob, a married father of four children, dedicated his career to helping others, especially when they're most vulnerable but he always wanted to do more. Bob said, I wanted to learn more about healthcare and develop skills to be able to further help people when I'm at work and on missionary trips. He said, as a chaplain, I visit the hospice patients during lunchtime to help them eat or just chat with them. However, because I did not have the nursing training, I was limited to what I could do for them so expanding my abilities was really the driving force for me to earn my CNA credentials. Now that I've completed my CNA coursework, I feel qualified to provide the spiritual, the emotional, and when needed, the physical care for my patients. If I notice that something is off with a patient, I can accurately take their vitals and relay this information to the hospice nurse. Bob continues, I won't ever be held back from helping others as now I have the training to provide greater care to my patients. Another passion of Bob's is participating in mission trips, providing medical aid and supplies to people impacted by natural disasters. Since 2015, Bob has participated in four medical mission trips with Go International, a Kentucky-based nonprofit organization. Through Go International, Bob has helped citizens in eastern Peru and, most recently, in the region of the Honduras that was hit with back-to-back -back hurricanes in November of 2020. Bob explains, I was able to help patients in Honduras with nursing care, which was a very rewarding experience. The techniques I learned from Professor Jose Silva kicked right in, and I was able to sharpen my training with the additional hands-on learning from that mission trip. Working in a COVID-19 triage center, screening and taking people's vital signs, I was able to prepare the doctors on what was going on with these particular patients. Bob said, I wore my mass bay scrubs proudly while assisting the people of Honduras. Bob Davidson, thank you for your passion to help others. As a chaplain, you already provided spiritual and emotional support and comfort. You saw that you could do more and you stepped up to become a CNA as well. We here at the National Association of Healthcare Assistants commend you for your dedication and efforts. And today, we honor you, Bob Davidson, as a CNA hero.